Possibility possible, he made it possibility. He over Nisi, he over Jaira, he over Rohi. He over Nisi, he over Rohi, he over Shaba. of Brazil, and cause a mass of iron is sunder, he has broken the place of Brazil, hallelujah, and cause a mass of iron, he has broken, he has broken, he has broken the place of Brazil, hallelujah, and cause a mass of iron is hallelujah, he has broken the place of Brazil, hallelujah, Jesus, I can
that roars like thunder. With a voice that the enemy will quake and fear when they hear you. You will pray this prayer that has helped thousands. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. The louder you pray, the better. Can you shout this prayer louder than anyone around you? Oh, no, so feeble, Carry your Lord by fire in the name of Jesus. Don't negotiate with the enemy. Emma, do not do that by water. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a time like this before you. We praise your holy name because you are our mighty God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon us. And open our understanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Praise the Lord. This morning, we're looking at one of the deepest passages in Scripture. I'm going to be very slow. I want you to understand it very well. And I might have to repeat certain things over and over again. The topic is found in Proverbs. Chapter 20 verse 27. It's a curious verse. It, it deep verse. But inside that verse lies the deepest secret for victory. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27. The Bible says, The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching. All the inward parts of the belly. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Have you found that scripture? Can we all read it loud and let's go? Can I hear the sisters a little reading it? Brothers, let me hear you read this. And everybody together. What do you understand by this? The spirit of man is a candle. A million if it is and it's not the candle of the man but the candle of God and then with that candle you can search all the inward parts of the belly what is this Bible talking about here and how do we key into this as believers to add to this deep scripture apostle Paul now came in 1st Corinthians so the title of the sermon is the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Apostle Paul 
so Paul now added to this. Apostle Paul who was a king. First Corinthians chapter two. Then we are going to Kenny Ori Kaji. First Corinthians two. We are going to Kenny Ori Kaji. Eleven. I say Kokola. First Corinthians two eleven. According to Kenny Ori Kaji, I say Kokola. This is another very interesting passage. I say Olo onto Larry Miro Nyele Yi. Says this. Obi Ba Yi. First Corinthians two eleven. For what man knoweth the things of a man? Save the spirit of man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man. But the spirit of God. Let me read it again. Again, to Tunka. For what man knoweth the things of a man? Except, except that spirit of man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man. But the spirit of God. He said, a man does not really understand what is going on in his life, what is going on in his destiny. Apart from that, is that spirit of man within him that will show him light, explain it to him. He said the same thing. If you are looking for things of the spirit of God, this is the spirit of God. That can reveal that to you. Listen very carefully. When a candle is not lighted, it is standing in darkness. An unlighted candle is standing in darkness. But if someone comes along to light it, that light the person is bringing is a force. So if he applies that force to the wick of the candle, and the candle yields to that force, then the candle begins to burn. Then it gives light. Then it fulfills the purpose for its existence. For a candle to stay without light, the candle is not fulfilling purpose. So an unlighted candle is not fulfilling the purpose of God at all. But when it is lighted, it becomes that for which it was made. It performs the duty that it was made for. And its fulfillment in its purpose in life. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. You see, God, God is light. God is that fire. When the spirit within man yields itself to the fire of God, it's only then can that man fulfill his or purpose in life. So you have the candle and the fire. The candle and the fire. The candle and the fire. The candle is the spirit of man. Immediately Adam committed sin, that spirit died. The Bible says, even in Adam, all died. Even so, in Christ, shall all be made alive. When two things are made for each other, neither is complete without another. If the fire was made for the candle, and the candle for the fire, and they can't find each other, there's a problem. Until the fire comes in contact with the candle, the candle is not complete. 
So the candle here that the Bible is talking about represents your spirit. A man is a spirit. He lives in the body. He has a soul. That candle is your spirit. As far as that candle which is your spirit man is not lighted by the fire of God. You remain in very thick darkness man is not complete unless that fire of god lies in spirit man until the spirit of man comes in contact with his creator and comes in perfect union with the creator it is not complete you may be rich, you may have property, but you can never fulfill your purpose. Man is never complete without God. Now comes the Holy Spirit. When you now receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit now incubates that your spirit man. When the Holy Spirit incubates that your spirit man, then you become what God really wants you to become. That your spirit man is the one that searches the inward parts of the belly. When something has gone on, it's like the touch light that will search you inside. Search to let you know what is going on. Many are in darkness now. Simply because the spirit man is in darkness. I'm praying for somebody here. Those powers of your father's house. The powers of your mother's house. The powers of envious enemies. That wants to kill your candle. And ensure that that candle is in darkness. I command those powers to die violently in the name of Jesus. <laughs> if, if you understand that prayer, your amen will be louder. So one of the greatest prayer points in the whole of scripture is in Psalm 1828. It's one of the greatest prayer points in the whole of the Bible. It was the psalmist that prayed it first. Nobody prays it before the psalmist. Psalm 18 verse 28. Psalm 18 28. Psalm 18 28 says. you in Psalm 18 28? there. For thou wilt light my candle the lord my god will enlighten my darkness can you raise up your right hand and shout this louder than anyone around you my father my father my father Light my candle by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. So are you here this morning? You don't really know what is going on in your life. The simple answer that candle That's the spirit man is the one who should search out what is happening but it has not been lighted or the light had gone off or you quench the light yourself the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord if this candle is not burning inside of man then the person is dark. Everywhere inside is dark. The spirit man is dark. 
can you raise up your right hand again and shout this louder than anyone around you again darkness in my spirit I am not your candidate in the name of Jesus darkness in my spirit Not your candidate die in the name of Jesus. Let your voice be loud. This is a serious prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. So the spirit of God is like the lighter. lighter. They will light the spirit. All of a sudden, the youth wakes up. When it is lighted, by the light of the candle, then you'll be able to know the difference between good and bad. You'll be able to discern what is going on. It is, it is a day of tragedy for a man or a woman to try and get married when the candle inside is not lighted. Because it is, you are still dark. There is darkness inside. Inside that darkness, you can't see anything. And this is where you need to listen to me carefully. Now. That spirit man, that one, your spirit, has a voice. He's talking. That voice is what people call conscience. Conscience. The voice of your conscience is the voice of your spirit man. Because when God created man in the beginning, he breathed into his nostrils. So every man, every woman has a little bit of that portion in them. Every man knows God from two sources. Either from God's creation or man's conscience creation is outside witness but conscience is inner witness your conscience is a witness to the existence of God a person may be living as if there is no God but inside there is something that is telling him that is God because of that conscience everyone who ever lived will stand one day without excuse before God they may have read the Bible, they may not have read the Bible, they may have heard the gospel, they may not have heard the gospel, it does not matter. In areas where they didn't hear about Jesus, they didn't hear about the gospel, they didn't know about Jesus Christ, they didn't know about salvation, there is something by which they will be judged, their conscience. We each have a conscience. We may not be able to analyze it. But we certainly cannot control it. We all possess one. Conscience is an interesting thing. It's the faculty or power of the mind by which we distinguish between right and wrong. Your conscience is that thing in you that is testifying to us concerning the standards of God. That conscience is an independent witness between you. That's your, that's your conscience 
it cannot compel obedience but it speaks the language of authority which, it agitates and accuses you when you do something wrong even if you run to a crowded city it will pursue you inside that crowded city when you try to sleep it will come again and say you have done this that consciousness will sometimes mingle with your dreams the conscience is God's spy God's spy let's face the facts all those who are committed you do fornication you steal you do all kinds of things like that somewhere in the innermost being of your mind in your quietness a voice will come to you and say this thing you are doing is bad you are not supposed to be doing this it will come you may shut it down you may disobey it it will still tell you that this thing is bad you may disobey it this thing is bad. You know that this is not your husband. You know this is not your wife. You know this money does not belong to you. You know that you are lying. You know. Quietly talk to you. Throw it away. I don't listen. But it has spoken. What it has said is recorded. At the call silent. That's why I say, listen to me very carefully this morning. The voice of your spirit man is that conscious speaking. Your conscience commends you when you are doing something good. And it will condemn you when you are doing something bad. That still small voice inside of you that will castigate you and harass you when you are doing something wrong. It's the inner register of heaven that records all things in details called conscience. It's an inner accuser it is the voice of your spirit man when you now receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the power of God comes into your life that Holy Spirit will now incubate that spirit man when it incubates that spirit man the voice of that conscience now becomes the voice of God and this is how to hear God this is how to be led by the spirit of God a lot of people are confused because they are not led by anything and the Bible says as many as are led by the spirit of God they are the children of God so the reverse is also true as many as are not led by the spirit of God. That's all we're the children of the devil. Very, very simple. That's a simple scripture. But you can say, then how can I be led by the Spirit of God? That's what I'm telling you now. That's your conscience. Which is the voice of your spirit man. When you allow the Holy Ghost to incubate it, the voice now becomes the voice of God. Talking to you from the inside. And then will be leading you. You want to do a business? He talks to you there. Because that inner man is lighted. The candle is lighted. Because it's lighted, he can search for you. Should you sell cement? No, 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 no. Should you do this? No, no, no. That's the search. The searching. Should you marry this one? No, 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 no. Should you travel out of this country? No, 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 no. Should you be a pilot? Yes. Should you? It is that thing that will be searching for you. This is where most believers are trouble. They said that people that look are common. 
people that see are very very rare the greatest enemy of man is not outside him it's inside him it is when the internal defeat has been completed that external defeat will come it is when that candle inside of you that is supposed to light up has been battered to ashes and your inside is dark the enemy can do anything it is when somebody has been defeated inside that is defeated outside unfortunately people with the ability to see are very rare but it's not supposed to be so if you can learn to allow your spirit man to be lighted and for God to incubate your spirit man and that's your conscience that is telling you this is not good that's not good that's not good, that's not good. Once it gets regenerated by the power of the Holy Spirit, it now begins to talk to you. It becomes the voice of God to you. It's not everybody will be hearing God the way I'm talking to you. You are hearing me now. It's not everybody will be seeing visions. It's not everybody will go into trances. Majority of the people will have to learn how to listen to the voice of their conscience, which has now been controlled by the Holy Spirit. It is important for me to teach you this. There are some journeys you should not make. There are some food you should not eat. Sisters, there are some men that should not even move close to you, let alone lay one finger on your body like this. Not. It is not in the register of those you should meet. But if you don't know, because you are in darkness inside, you will even go and marry your enemy. Or you marry a fire extinguisher. Or extinguish all the fires of your destiny. I'm praying for somebody here this morning. Any progress that you have lost. As a result of what I'm saying here this morning, repossess your progress in the name of Jesus. Repossess it. 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 Repossess it in the name of Jesus. Beloved, we need to pray for the eyes of Elisha and the ears of Samuel. The foundation of spiritual failure is spiritual blindness only for you tme many have limited vision some are spiritually cross-eyed some have very weak spiritual eyes some are started in the spirit because you know you have physical sight the one you are using to read your bible now seeing your paper you have the mental sight the one the student used to hear his teacher and the mind takes hold of what he hears to the point of understanding and then you have the spiritual sight the lack of this spiritual sight is the grandfather of all failures it is the absence of this spiritual sight that leads to lack of knowledge God has planted something in you to make you great. God has planted something in you to make you fulfill your purpose in life. For many, they cannot search it out. Because they can't search it out, destiny killers approach them and kill those things 
and palm those things and put them in spiritual coffins the internal Moses that's to deliver them the internal Moses that God gave to them the good seed planted in their life will have died eaten up by evil birds simply because you don't know you can't see the devil can traffic in any area of darkness including the Christian's heart once there is darkness there Satan had an access to an area of Peter's life in the Bible. and so he wanted to sift him like a witch one of the greatest problem of Peter was Peter was a talkative talks too much talkative so Peter's denial of Jesus was satanically induced the human fear caused Peter to deny Jesus Peter was not a fearful person by nature after all, he was one who drew out the sword to attack somebody when they came to arrest Jesus. So listen to me carefully, beloved. The areas of our life we hide in darkness. And we come to church to masquerade. It's the very area of our future defeat. That's where we are hiding. The battles we face will not cease until we discover these dark areas and repent from that darkness that is within us. For example now, if you're a proud person, pride is the hammer of darkness itself. You need to dismantle that pride and be humble. Listen, beloved, like I've been saying here this morning, all of us, we have a little lawyer in the laboratory of our heart. The internal lawyer is sometimes telling us that we are not that bad. But it's not so. It's just trying to console you. Playing a more dangerous game to throw the person into hellfire. And this is a very serious matter. And what are the effects of this? Judgment. Delay of signs and wonders. Testimony famine. So for those who are here, what you know, what you don't know, it's not just broadcasting. No, but you know about that. You know about that. Those are the areas of darkness we're talking about. You need to address so that you don't completely quench your candle. And then you say, I've been here for years. I've been coming for years. I've been here for years. I know everybody. I know everything. I know this. I know that. All that is stories. Everyone is not interested in your stories. Everyone wants to have a change of heart. This morning, as many as one victory in warfare, you need to cry out for every area of darkness in your life to be exposed. And the time to repent from them. The times of ignorance, God winked at. And to wink is to momentarily close your eyes and open it again. But now it's looking at you. And anyone who keeps falling into sin, repenting, you fall into sin, you repent, you fall into sin, you repent. God takes you as somebody who is not serious. Because 
And since it seems that you are not a serious person, that should give me a dirty slap. I said, well, you are slapping me. Say, I'm sorry. Five minutes later, I again. I said, but you just slap me again. I'm sorry, sir. A few minutes later, I said, oh, you slap me a third time. I'm sorry. That's how everyone looks at those who are habitual sinners. The bad spirit you are constantly fighting, constantly fighting, is using the darkness in you to protect itself. One strong prayer you can pray for yourself is that the construction material of the enemy in your life must be roasted. Flesh has to lose control over your life. And all darkness will have to go. Bow down your head below. And lay your hands on your chest. Your chest is a symbol of your heart. And also a symbol of your soul. You need to cry. In loud, desperate prayer upon that soul. There was a time the psalmist was having trouble. His heart was moving here and there, here and there. He had to cry out. Return unto your resting place. Oh, my soul. He woke on me. He talked to himself. He talked to that heart. Lay your hands on your chest. And bow down your heads where you are. I begin to tell the Lord to reveal to you areas of darkness. To expose to you areas of darkness. That the enemy that is fighting you is using to protect themselves. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. But supposing that candle is dead. Supposing the candle is not lighted. An unlighted candle is a useless instrument. A mere decoration. Talk to the Lord yourself. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In case you are here this morning, and you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Just raise up your right hand where you are. And what you so can be tebawa. Say what I'm going to say, Father. We are going to tell me. Say, Father. And we pay Baba. I come to you today. Moto wa loni. Come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ah. There are some people here this morning. That God brought for this message to deliver you from the pit you are about to fall in. And use this as an opportunity. A good opportunity. For you experience revival in your soul a good opportunity for you to experience revival in your soul thank you Jesus why laying your hand on your chest the first prayer is a prayer of attack it's not a prayer of joking at all and it's not a gentleman's prayer it's a deliverance prayer it's a revival prayer it's a purging prayer it is a violent prayer while your hand is laid on your chest can you shout this louder than anyone around you darkness in my heart can your voice be louder than that? Dead! Dead! In the name of Jesus. Mapanta 
Karibo Kapola Kaya Boshantaria Ribape Nikatende Kaya Boshanda. Thank you, Jesus. I sing this. Thank you, Jesus. I sing this. Amen. Amen. There are more serious prayers to pray than this. I want to give it enough time. I want to give it enough time. Right now, bring out your thoughts and your offering for this meeting. Father, we thank you for the thoughts and the offering. Let our anointing fall upon our hands. Lay your hands upon our destiny. Who does some great breakthroughs to their lives? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. and his grace in the mission right at last God live in the for us a place where we all get to heaven where the joy where we all see Jesus we will see where we all get to heaven for the joy Yeah. <laughs> 
As you sing this song loud and clear from your heart, as you go into this prayer session, open my eyes, oh Lord, hallelujah, oh my oh Lord, hallelujah, open my eyes, oh Lord, to obey Hallelujah Open my eyes Oh Lord Sing it loud and clear beloved Hallelujah Open my eyes Oh Lord Hallelujah Open my eyes Oh Lord Hallelujah I am ready one more time now, sing it louder than anyone around you. Open my eyes. Open oh, oh, my eyes, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Open oh, oh, my eyes, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Open oh, my eyes, oh Lord. I am ready. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. A million searching the innermost part of the belly. There are some serious prayers to pray here this morning. And they are deep prayers. The first prayer is this. Say, Lord. Oh, is that the loudest who can shout his name? Show me the secret of my life. Fear Syria in the name of Jesus. There is a secret you need to know. As we compare to your camera. Me, just immediately we started praying that prayer. Lord, open my eyes. I saw a dog walking out of the skirt of somebody. This is why you need to pray this prayer seriously. I don't know who you are, that person. But you need to cry a little bit more. Oh, no, I... Show me the secrets of my life. We are serious. In the name of Jesus. Leon, Jesus. <laughs> Don't negotiate. Emma, do not do that. <laughs> Jesus name we pray he inherited darkness in my life you are a liar Dead. in the name of Jesus the with the inherited darkness Jesus' name we pray. 
Opportunity wasters. I am not your candidate. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Arrows of my father's heart. Fired against my star. Total In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Lift me up! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, as many as want uncommon promotion, illogical elevation, they should let their voices dry with thunder in these particular prayers. Where there are angels around to perfect it. Oh God, arise! Promote me by fire! In the name of Jesus, you receive that divine permission. A beggar to receive divine permission. A beggar to your In Jesus' name, we pray. Satanic embargo on my destiny. Can you shout this loud? Break for in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, and open your mouth. Mean, mean. The embargo must be broken. It must be broken, it must be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Surprise! Tie me down. In the name of Jesus. Powers tie me down. Jesus name we pray Say, my stolen fire in me to come back by the way in the name of Jesus somebody is broken through over there you can learn like I love you Receive it, 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 Jesus' name 
people we pray. Powerlessness. I lack but prayerlessness. I live but in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray now with a loud voice shout Holy Ghost fire shout it louder than that incubate my spirit man in the name of Jesus incubate my spirit man Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Receive that fire, receive that fire, receive that fire. No, no. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the final prayer now. And the most important prayer of all. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Let your voice roar like thunder. Let your voice be even louder than that. And light my candle. In the name. Jesus, light my candle. Jesus, yes, you know. Light my candle, 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 light my Jesus name we pray. New Lord. Alleluia. Oh. Ah. Oh. Lord. Alleluia. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Lord. I am ready to obey. Hallelujah. Open my eyes, O Lord. Sing it loud and clap, beloved. Hallelujah. Open my eyes, O Lord. Hallelujah. Open my eyes, O Lord. Hallelujah. I am ready to. One more time, dance. Sing it louder than anyone around you. Open my eyes. is the candle of the Lord searching the innermost part of the belly there are some serious prayers to pray here this morning and they are deep prayers the first prayer is this say Lord oh Lord is that the Lord 
Let's look at and shout his name. Show me the secret of my life. Fear Syria in the name of Jesus. There is a secret you need to know. I see the compare to your camera. Me. Just immediately we started praying that prayer. Lord, open my eyes. I saw a dog walking out of the skirt of somebody. This is why you need to pray this prayer seriously. I don't know who you are, that person. But you need to cry a little bit more. Lord! Oh, no. Show me the secrets of my life. In the name of Jesus. Don't negotiate. Emma, do not do that. Jesus name we pray. He inherited darkness in my life. You are a liar. Damn. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the inherited darkness. name we pray opportunity wasters I am not your candidate in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray. Nioruko Jesu. Arrows of my father's heart. Fire against my star. Total In the name of Jesus. Nioruko Jesu. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Lift me up! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, as many as want uncommon promotion, illogical elevation, they should let their voices dry with thunder in these particular prayers. Where there are angels around to perfect it. Oh God, arise! Promote me by fire! In the name of Jesus, you look 
receive divine permission. Receive divine permission. In Jesus' name we pray. Satanic embargo. On my destiny. Can you shout this loud? Break for in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. The embargo must be broken. It must be broken, it must be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Surprise! Powers tie me down. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Set my stolen fire. In Come back by the way in the name of Jesus. Somebody is broken through over there. You can't learn like I love you. Receive it, 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 Name we pray. Neoru Powerlessness. I like Bara. Prayerlessness. I like Bara. In the name of Jesus. Neoru Kodes. name we pray now with a loud voice shout holy ghost fire shout it louder than that incubate my spirit man in the name of Jesus incubate my spirit man Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Receive that fire, receive that fire, receive that fire. No, no. In Jesus' name, we pray. This is the final prayer now. And the most important prayer of all. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Let your voice roar like thunder. Let your voice be even louder than that. And light my candle. In the name. Jesus, light my candle. Jesus, yes, fuck, you know. 
light my candle 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 oh yes Benny. Jesus name we pray. Let there be silence. Please don't say anything now. Let there be silence. Father, Baba, I'm praying for anyone in this gathering. As a little child, an evil hand was laid on him or her. The result of that evil hand is that the enemy has supported. Good things in this life. Father, Baba, wherever such people are standing, whether here or outside, let the power of the Holy Ghost begin to move from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. From the top of the head to the soul of the feet from the top of the head to the soul of the feet and let them begin to receive their deliverance any distance any progress that has been stolen from anyone as a result of an unlighted candle let such people wherever they are standing begin to repossess their lost progress in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus Father I pray that you continue to lay your hands upon your people and this week will be a week of signs and wonders the Lord blesses you from Zion makes his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you the prayer request that oh Lord answer them by fire in Jesus mighty name we pray let us share the grace and fellowship